Hello, good day, our favorite listeners and viewers and readers of the Vanguard Business Life, your favorite business show from your Vanguard uh, favorite newspaper, the Vanguard newspaper. Now, we, we could say that the die is cast when we present to you uh, uh, what we see in the business environment. Uh, more often, we talk about where you put your money, your idol cash. If you are into business, you don't need the cash immediately. Instead of it will yield negative uh, return somewhere, you can still put it where it will re uh, give you some uh, returns, um, no matter how small. Um, we always highlight uh, what's going on in the stock market. Probably you have opportunity to put a little of such money there. Uh, and what has happened so far uh, this year in the stock market is, 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 is impressive so far, except that last week um, we noticed that uh, election fever is already, uh, uh, it's already there and then of course uh, it should have been there long before last week of course and then, uh, but uh, it's been uh, mitigated by expectations of positive corporate earnings uh, for the full year 2022 and of course uh, the first uh, quarter 2023 and that driven uh, uh, gains in stocks and um, has been a hedge against um, uh, a, a mitigation against uh, uncertainties that, that has uh, driven some downward trends in, in the stocks uh, ahead of the election day or week or period. The election day is happening sometime this week, this month. And next month, the general election, the main election, the presidential election, it is weekend. And I hope that you are ready to have a make a better choice. And meanwhile, in the market, uh, we notice that there has been a significant drop, yes, of about 280 billion loss to investors just in one day on Friday. Yes, um, because the stock has withstood bearish pressures all the four days before Friday. And they gave up Friday to a loss of 280 billion. And then, what do we expect to happen this week? Well, as a matter of fact, um, the, the the yield curve this week is uh, is going to be dependent on the way people perceive the election uh, and the outcome. And uh, uh, it's quite still uh, uh, very unpredictable as we speak. Uh, but then the resilience in the stock market has been there since January. Uh, we believe largely will stay uh, on this week into next week. And um, if you look at uh, the segments of the stock and what is happening there, uh, well, the banking sector appears to be the, main, the only four guy uh, last week. Uh, obviously, probably investors are looking at what is happening in the in the financial system today. Uh, apart from that, uh, most other stocks, most other uh, segments of the stock market witnessed some uplifting. Yes, uh, both the insurance uh, had an uplift, uh, the commercial and the industrial goods they all had uplift during the week, and we expect that. Um, uh, uh, yes, in the new week to election, uh, there will be, even if there is a decline, it won't be so severe. Uh, yes, the decline we had last week, yes, 280 billion appears in absolute figures to be huge and significant. But it's just about 0.4% uh, of the market capitalization. And we do not expect a significant um, uptick in that in the new, in, the, in this week uh, before the election and after the election. So there's nothing to fear. But the stock invest, um, stock analysts still say that you, you should trade cautiously. And anytime they say trade cautiously, it means that you can put your money in a fundamentally, what they call fundamentally justified stocks. The stocks with strong fundamentals. The stock that has uh, some, uh, some uh, strong muscles to withstand uh, adversities. Uh, he's talking about blue chip companies. Yes. You can still make a bet on that, irrespective of the sentiments over the general election. And we come your way again next week. We expect you to make a wise decision from this weekend in the election. Thank you. Have a nice day.